Welcome back to Stack Circuit. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate Shorebird into your Flutter app to enable live updates with a user prompt. Let's get started. Let me first show you the Shorebird version I'm using. You can initialize Shorebird in your project by running the Shorebird init command. This creates a shorebird.yaml file containing your app ID. To handle updates manually, you'll need to add the shorebird code push package from pub.dev. Next, inside your root widget state, start a timer that periodically checks for updates from shorebird. For this demonstration, I'm setting the timer to run every 2 seconds, but you should adjust the interval to fit your needs. Also, don't forget to cancel the timer in the dispose method. Let's check if our timer is working correctly by restarting the app. And yep, it's triggering just fine. In this method, what we need to do is check the update status. If the app is outdated, we download the patch using the update method. Before that, we need to create a banner to inform the user that an update is available. Let me add that first. Now we can update the check for update method. If the app is outdated, we download the patch and display the banner on the UI. You can customize the banner's content, and make sure everything looks good in the UI. Here's what the UI will look like. A simple title and a button that lets the user exit the app. For the exit app button, we'll use the exit function from Dart's Dart IO package to close the app. Now that the integration is complete, we can build a release version of the app using Shorebird. I'm also adding the artifact flag to generate both an APK and an AAB file. Once the build is complete, we can close the debugger and install the release APK on our Android device. Now let's make a change to the app, I'll add a background color to the list tile. To push this change live, we'll create a patch using the Shorebird patch Android command and choose the latest release version. Once the patch is published, you'll see the banner in the live app saying an update is available. You can click the exit app button to terminate the app. When you relaunch it, the background color update is visible. Let's try another change. This time, I'll remove the background color and add a network image to the circle avatar. We'll follow the same patching process. Once published, the banner shows up again. We exit the app, reopen it. And now we can see the image has been added. And just like that, your users never miss an update, without needing to reinstall the app. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, drop a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe to Stack Circuit for more Flutter content and dev tutorials. See you in the next one.